subscribe with notifications on YouTube for the latest, and go to our automated live stream for updates. Latest on Super Cyclone Ompon, which is a potentially catastrophic Category 5 Cyclone. We're looking at maximum sustained winds, Force 13's latest readings, 160 miles an hour sustained with a minimum pressure of 904 millibars. This is an extremely dangerous storm that could cause a devastating landfall in the upcoming 2-3 to three days. As of 10pm Indian Standard Time, May 18th, storm still at 14.5 degrees north, 86.4 degrees east, heading north-northeast at the moment now, with a CDPS scale stage 7, catastrophic damage possible. Distance from shore, we're starting to close in on these locations, Puri, 367 miles, Balasore, 482, Kolkata, near a potential landfall spot, 570 miles away, and in Bangladesh, Koira, 572 miles away, and the capital, Dhaka, 691 miles away from the center of the storm, but the influence is already wide-reaching. Cyclone warnings are in effect for West Bengal and Odisha coasts uh, with heavy rainfall warnings over large portions of northeastern India and western Bangladesh at this point in time, um, and wind warnings also for the provinces of West Bengal and Odisha provinces too. Here's the forecast. You can see the area of influence through precipitation and cloud cover for Ompon. Uh, making landfall in two to three days now near Kolkata is looking like a very likely potential landfall area Although the exact landfall location will change where most damages occur by a large margin So we can't narrow down a specific location yet But anyone in Odisha and West Bengal needs to have their eye out for potential landfall You can see in this model run as well the storm gets swept um, away up into the Himalayan mountains and dissipates as we get towards day five Sea surface temperatures unfortunately still very favorable for development, 30 to 31 degrees Celsius all the way until landfall. Fortunately, it looks like wind shear should pick up though as the storm continues to move north. This could cause some weakening before the storm makes landfall, but regardless, it will still be an extremely dangerous cyclone. Here's the wind model forecast from the GFS run. You can show, see it's showing a very intense storm, category 3 to category 4 plus winds on this model run. It's lagging behind the actual intensity by a good bit as well, so you could see even stronger on this. But you can see as well, tropical storm force winds extending quite a distance away from the center of the storm, and this means that there could be adverse impacts stretching hundreds of miles away from the core of the system. Regardless of this though, there will be a devastating storm surge possible on the eastern side, possibly well over 5 meters in areas that have maximum elevations significantly less than that. Chance of tropical storm force winds look like this still, pretty similar to this morning. Puri, 50%, Balasore, 65%, Kolkata, the area most likely to have a region near the landfall, 85%, Koira in Bangladesh at 70%, and Dhaka in Bangladesh also at 65% at this time. Here's the track spread, you can see pretty tightly clustered now, especially compared to three days ago when we were concerned that there could be a landfall anywhere from Myanmar to much further west than we're looking at now. A general consensus on the West Bengal and Odisha region for a potential landfall. And here's the wind swath though to emphasize, just because the landfalls in one spot does not mean adverse conditions will not occur hundreds of miles away, not only is the wind field already uh, expanding and will be quite large at landfall, it's one of the largest ever recorded in the basin, but there's also significant rainfall extending very far away from the center, even where those tropical storm force winds aren't reaching. As you can see on the satellite imagery, outer bands are already onshore in eastern India. Uh, so this is a very large system, extremely powerful, life-threatening. Stay tuned with us for the latest. You can follow us at our outlets, force13.com, for our website, updating news articles, and our live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube. If you're not watching here already, make sure to subscribe as well. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to check our posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to send us a message on that application. You can also help the project come even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13, or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube to directly support the project and get a plethora of benefits. You can also communicate with us directly and join the community on our Discord server, link in the description below to join us, or by messaging fool13 at extension 9094.